Hello guys, uh, my name is Sofia and I wanted to share something with you. Um, it is important for me, I hope it's important for you. Um, well, I was asking and thinking, uh, like, if somebody, is anybody now is taking remote control to my computer and sharing the data and also watching me on the camera? Is another application is running under my computer and I don't know. Um, here, the first of all, you need to check, you need to go to the control panel. As I as you see here, control panel, you go to the system, and the system remote settings. This one, standardly, you find it, check it in, you need to check it out, and you select don't allow remote connection to this computer, this first. And the second, we need to check uh, which kind of uh, the PID it's it's running the PID. It's the uh, is the processor identificator. Here you need we need to write net state minus no. Here I will find I will find like location IP address the application where I'm yeah, like running in physically in my computer. And the second is the background on the server extern. Where, which this information is coming is coming from is like um, this one uh, we check it uh, the PID server background we find it like is five two six zero we need to open task manager and we go to this application the PID here in Windows 10 and Windows 8 is enabled automatically Windows 7 you go to the view and the column and you need to enable it uh, we said like 5260. Okay, 5260. Here it's the Avera means it's trusted. It doesn't have any um, any problem. But for you guys, you can find like an application is running um, as well and has also IP address and something. But you never heard about this application. You didn't install it, and no one, no one of your friends or your girlfriend or whatever or your boyfriend it never installed this application how is coming here why is running and as well when you go to the performance you will find like a cpu here is more than 40. when its utilization is more than 40 it means there is something is running is really hard is running uh, under your computer and you need to check it um in the memory also but the most important is the cpu here, as I stated, Doc, like when you check the PID here, you need to check the PID number, uh, which kind of IP address is using, and you will take it away in the detail example. In this one example, we can say this one, and you click on it, I don't need it. Okay, and task, and you go to the control. You need to check if this con in the con in program and features. You need to go in the con program and features, and you you will delete, we install completely this this uh, this application or this this virus. If it's just virus, uh, it's not an application, you need to delete it. If you didn't find, like, you know this virus is running, but you didn't see it, you cannot see it, like, you need to open, uh, you need to open WinRAR, I hope you heard about it. You need to open WinRAR and you open the file by WinRAR like that. You will see the the virus and you can delete it. But don't click on it twice because the binner will start with the zero one and it will open it, and you will you will uh, you will have a problem later. Okay, I hope this uh, this session is helping you to to recognize exactly which kind of application is running under your computer. If you have any comments, just leave it to me. I will try to answer.